Breaking news right now. The NFL and Players Union have announced that three players and five staffers with the Tennessee Titans have tested positive for coronavirus. The I have been of this position uh, from day one. I believe there's a 99% chance that the, the season, the National <laughs> Football League season gets completed. Barring government and mm. federal intervention. It's going to disappear. One day it's like a miracle. It will disappear. This season is started and it's going to finish. These owners are not going to have it any other way. Titans and the Minnesota Vikings, which played each other this past Sunday, have said they will now suspend in-person club activity starting today. For those of us who believe in science and understand just how real this virus is, you likely saw this coming. There is a huge report via MassLive.com coming out of Boston that reads, three days ago, the Tennessee Titans reportedly knew they had a positive coronavirus test. Then they flew across the country to play a football game against the Minnesota Vikings. Now the NFL has its first outbreak. So how many tests came back positive is what you're likely asking. Three Titans players and five team personnel have tested positive, prompting a shutdown of facilities in Nashville. A league source said the positive tests are confirmed and there is not a suspicion of false positive. So rule that argument out from your psyche completely. Now a Titans team statement read this. Out of the abundance of caution, the organization has decided to work remotely today as we follow NFL protocols related to the COVID-19 virus. The one name we know of, outside linebackers coach and defensive play caller Shane Bowen, who missed Sunday's Titans-Vikings game. Now, Bowen was placed in the COVID-19 protocol after the team received test results on Saturday. Saturday, revealing that the coach was positive for the virus. Three days later, the Titans are dealing with the first outbreak of this season, as are the Vikings. According to NFL Network's Tom Pelissero, Minnesota began evacuating team facilities Tuesday after the announcement of the Titans' positive tests. Here's the thing, though. The eight tests that were reported today, Shane Bowen's name is not listed, meaning these are new cases per SI's. NFL writer Albert Breer. I cannot emphasize how huge this is. The Titans knew of a positive test prior to Sunday's game. They traveled to Minnesota knowing a member of their team has the virus. They play the game against the Vikings in the Twin Cities, and now this one positive test has made its way into the Titans. And now we await the results of the Vikings. This is simply how this stuff works. It's how it starts. It's how it spreads. It was a risk to play the season. And personally, I thought the public ass kissing of saying, oh, the NFL did it. I can't believe they've conquered it. They didn't conquer it. They didn't conquer anything. Stating that is premature. And here we are. If you watch any New Orleans Saints game, you'll see Sean Payton, a man who had coronavirus, rarely wear his mask on the sidelines during his team's games. Sean McVay used his mask as a chin strap. Head coaches Kyle Shanahan, Pete Carroll, Vic Fangio, all fine because they chose not to wear their masks on the sidelines. Bill Belichick also has whatever the hell you possibly call this. A realistic question was asked by Penn Live: Will myocarditis, heart condition linked to COVID, affect NFL? Raven's doctor says it's a concern. The thing is, we heard about this in college football, and that's where the reports came out of. According to medical professionals, myocarditis is a potential long-term effect from contracting COVID-19. The American Heart Association describes myocarditis as it comes on suddenly and often with significant severity, resulting in an exceptionally high risk of death caused by cardiogenic shock the heart's inability to pump enough blood, abnormal heartbeats, and multi-organ failure. It's time, in my opinion, for this to become the mainstream conversation and discussions when they are had and broadcast to the masses on league partners or non-league partners. We have talked about it so many times with college football. It's time to start reporting on this. And I'm not saying that they're not reporting on it because no one has said it. But there is a direct link here from multiple health professionals that are saying a lot of athletes can suffer from this, not just even now, but in the long term. It was a risk to do this season. 
Do I think they could potentially turn it around? Maybe. Maybe. But we are dealing with our first outbreak. They knew this when they signed up. It's tough because the league knows that they have to make money off of the television contracts. But as I leave you with this, I ask, maybe rhetorically, at what cost?